Good morning everyone from Paris. Sunny day. Uh, we're at the outlet place close to Paris. Gonna go check a few stores out, see what deals can be found or if deals can be found. So I'll talk to you guys later. back in Milan. It's Monday and it's a festivity tomorrow. Have to go locate my package. But yeah, let's go to the asshole of the city and maybe get the package, which I highly doubt. <laughs> so yeah, we just got it. And like, I'm not gonna show the details and stuff, but they were inside like, oh, there was no phone number. It's, it's literally weird. there. Like, it's, it's literally three there. times on the fucking package. Dudes have been fucking beating the shit oh, yeah, out of it's this. Bad. And now another 40 euro taxi back to Milan. You don't have to worry about me not like, you know, taking care of your packages because I get stressed when this shit happens. You know, yeah, you shouldn't be like have to do these things. And that's why I just say use a bigger company because they at least have a working phone number. That's pretty much why we had to come here because you called a number, they made you wait in line for like two minutes and then the call just deconnects. There's no way of getting in touch with these people. They said they tried to call me, they said they tried to contact me and deliver, but I was home all day and no nothing happened. No one called me or no one tried to deliver. And then I just realized there's no other way but to go get it myself. <laughs> At least we got it. At least, it. We, At got least it. we got it. <laughs> now we'll take an expensive taxi ride or Uber ride back to my place. I'll open this up and I'll show you guys what's inside it. But yeah, Forza Italia. Oh wow. Yeah, this one's probably the coolest piece. It's the Saint Laurent L01 model. Fall winter 17. I think this retailed for like 5.5 thousand. Size 50, so like three sizes too big for me. God, and it's not even that bad. Get the leather quality and stuff, it's crazy. The brown distressing. I think it's like the leather's undertone is just like brown. To be honest, one of the nicest leather jackets I've seen. Just the right amount of details, I feel like. With studs, you can sometimes go a bit overboard. Balenciaga, like sleeveless hoodie. The crinkled effect is supposed to be there. Creased, I think, not crinkled. And then it has the Balenciaga, like sporty logo. Sporty B creased sweatshirt, I think is the like exact model name. Kiko box. Box has the Kiko. And then nice acetate, thick material. Kiko logo there, and yeah, that's the model. But these are uh, Saint Laurent Fall Winter 17 belted trousers. These are 46, so yeah, these were runway pants used on the runway, I'll throw a picture. Then another pair of sunglasses. These are vintage Dior, uh, they're from John Galliano. Two sunglasses and two very nice sunglasses. These are probably one of my favorites from my what I knew was gonna arrive. Size 29, runway Celine jeans. Um, spring, summer 21, it's the Dancing Kid collection. The dye of this is called Moonshine. And these are selvage denim. And selvage denim, if you know the origins, then you know where they're made. So these are Japanese denim. Normally Celine and Saint Laurent have always used like Italy production in their denim. But since these are selvage, they're uh, Japanese made. So mm -hmm. nice jeans like crazy detailing and obviously it being salvaged they'll you know last a lifetime process and salvage denim is well if you know you know then a white vetmont's postage hoodie unisex yeah demna 
That's the tag. Size large. This one's, I'm kind of interested myself. It's uh, new with tags. Saint Laurent mohair scarf. Perfect length. Wearing fucking <laughs> pajama <laughs> pants over here. A tank top and a scarf. Here, Margiela tea. And we have a pair of Margiela boots, size 42, Vibram sold. So anyone anywhere can wear these. Last piece is a Helmut Lang vintage. Vintage Helmut is the only Helmut made in Italy. Nice stuff. Shout out to the sender. Good afternoon. Heading to Finland in just a bit. Gonna go drop this one package off. But a last minute order, so shipping same day. After that, gonna head home, switch my pants, get my luggage, head to the airport and head to Finland. In Finland now, it's Vappu today. Uh, it's a celebration only in Finland. You have these like, you know, when you went to high school, you get these hats. Or when you graduate, you get the hat and uh, every last day of April, it's like a celebration pretty much. Don't know the true history to it, but basically everyone's fucking drunk. It's fucking five degrees. Like for real, five degrees and pretty much first day of May. These are the things I do not miss about Finland. Came from t-shirt weathers to winter jacket weathers. Good morning everyone. Had a fun night yesterday, all things considered. Fucking cold though. You can maybe hear from my voice a bit. I had a few drinks. <coughs> Fuck. Anyways, I am doing the final bits of like uh, editing the pictures, making pretty much thumbnails only for the products. And then I'll upload new clothing on my website. This is how the drop days look. Go shop. I have crazy nice clothes. What you thinking? Tell the camera something. No? Okay, okay. Anyways, um, most times I go somewhere, uh, I'll be doing business, selling clothes. So I'm gonna go run to this new shop. My friend opened a shop in Turku, selling like vintage and designer clothes. Gonna go support the local, sell them some good clothes. Let's go do some business. Another cold and semi-cloudy day in Finland. I'm heading for lunch. I go to this place called Salu. It's um, it's like a bokeh place. You get bokeh bowls. After eating Salu, I can't eat bokeh pretty much anywhere else. Like honestly, I've tried in various different countries, various different restaurants, and it never comes even near to how good Salu is. <laughs> I just drove to Helsinki. I came here, I'm gonna meet with one friend, this artist in Finland. If you're Finnish, you probably know him. Shout out Yami. Basically, he's been a friend of mine for a long time. And uh, yeah, since he's an artist, he has the money and he has the will to buy some nice clothes. So who better to have handle your clothes than me? No one, <laughs> I'm just joking. Also meeting with um, three different people. One purchase I'm gonna make for the store and two other people are giving me some clothes to sell. So I just saw this one, one guy and I was just supposed to get a few pieces and he ended up giving a lot. Got some cool ass clothes and they're still 
quite a few yet to come. Now I'm gonna go meet my friend, then go get a bit more clothes. Just start to think how I'm gonna get all of those in Milan. I only have a carry-on luggage. A lot of clothes coming to the website. Just stay tuned. So I was just at this uh, other sunglass store where we got her eyeglasses from. I haven't edited the video yet, but at, in Paris I tried these Jacques Marimage sunglasses and they were at that store and I'm way more than tempted, but we're gonna go first check out this one very good vintage sunglass shop. As I tried these in Paris, I knew that I wanted these. I thought like, because they were 850 euros in Paris, I just thought like, uh, you know, that's way too much for a pair of sunglasses at the moment. And they offered a discount. Gotta give a shout out to the, to the store. Rare to get those for any discount because they're always made in like small batches. I have a fuck ton of clothes I need to show as well, so. Maybe I'll leave these for the next video, so you you guys will maybe see me wearing them. Good morning, everyone. Gonna go to the post office to ship off some packages. I'm gonna show you guys quickly these one Celine boots that I um, sourced for a client. Uh, new drop is live on the website, so go check out the new clothes. OG everything. If you follow my Instagram or the shop's Instagram, you probably have seen these already. Ranger boots from Celine. And since the client lives in a colder place with shittier weathers, it's always good to have the rubber soles. Leather laces, it's very cool boots all in all. Take. I don't remember last time, James. We're at Saint Laurent. I'm kind of my girl's stylist as well. You know, helping her to find the right brands to fit her body because she's always saying that these don't fit, nothing fit me good, you know. Just find the right brands that suit your body, that enhance your body, and you're good to go. That's the simplest way to go about it. just finished steaming the clothes not all the stuff i sell need to be dry clean but everything i ship i want it to be you know looking fresh not smelling like shit everyone ordering something gets it nice and fresh it was a bit of a random video i ended up putting the austria bits since i didn't like vlog there i was just with my finnish friends there but this weekend i'm leaving to finland so we're gonna continue traveling new clothing online very nice clothing. See you guys in the next video. Okay.